it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're working on scientific notation for large numbers. Because writing large numbers can be a real pain after a while, we have a way to shorten it up and make your life easier. And you know I'm all about making life easy. Okay, so what do we mean by scientific notation? Well, it's when we write a nice number, but we write it with a decimal and a power of 10. Here's what I mean. So first number we have here, 6,200,000. Okay, it's not, you know, really, really hard to write that, but it could, after a while you had to write it 10 times, it might take a while. So we can use scientific notation, which is we're going to turn this number into a decimal. And how we do that is we go to our first whole number and put the decimal point that we want it right after that number. So I'm going to make this 6.2. Two. That's where I want my decimal to end up when I'm done. But where is the decimal currently? We know the decimal's all the way back here. So what I have to do is count the number of decimal places I want to get to this new decimal point. Here we go. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which means we're going to write 6.2 times 10 to the 6th power because that's the number of decimal places we shifted and there you go. Let's try it again. So here we have 821 million. So again, where do I want my decimal? I'm going to run it right after the 8, 8.21. And now let's count how many decimal places we need to shift. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 10 to the 8th. And the good news is you can go in both directions. So we can move from scientific notation back to standard form. Here's how we do it. So we have our decimal point here, and we have that exponent, which is the power of 10. Let's move our decimal seven places to the right. We want to make our number bigger again. So here we go. I'm going to put in a bunch of zeros. And we're going to move it seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make sure. It's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's where our decimal would end up. Let's throw some commas in. 52,100,000 is our number. Let's try it again with this number. We're going to write our number down. And we're going to move our decimal places six to the right using zeros as placeholders. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. That is it. So scientific notation is all about putting it in decimal form and using a power of 10. That's it. Okay. Make sure you try the practice problems so you can drill on this and get it really good. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I will definitely see you next time. Hope you're having a great one. Bye. Thank you.